I, I do want to say, though, there are lots of ways to be engaged in these spaces. If you don't want to turn your camera on, um, invite students to use the chat. Some people say, oh, I'm too confused by the chat. I don't want that. I want them to ignore the chat. I want to turn the chat off. But I think that that can be an opportunity. We have um, uh, one of our techniques from our community building resources. Um, if you do, I think this is the tea party one. You can do it with breakout groups, but you can also do it in the chat where you invite everybody to come together and um, respond in the chat, right? So you can ask a question and then say, all right, I want everybody to use the chat to respond to this and I'm gonna read the responses as they're coming in. Um, some people like to wait and say, all right, I want you to type it in, but then I want you to wait because I want you to hit the, the, the enter button all at the same time. So that way, you know, it's kind of exciting. All of the, all of the responses kind of come in at once. Um, but I think if you, if you structure activities and you get students comfortable using their microphone or using the chat or doing an annotation activity, if you're using something, I know Zoom does have like an ability to annotate inside of it. There are other ways that you can get students to be engaged rather than just the camera.